I swear to God, voiceovers are going to be the death of me. Hey guys, it's Jasmine at Aerie Sims and welcome back to my channel. So today I am building a Tudor home inspired by um, the Sharp Objects house, if anyone's watched a show with Amy Adams. It's really good. I'm really pissed to not get a second season, but it is like a limited season show. So they only do one season, if you get me. Which, like, it ended really well, so I can't be angry. So, it is not the same house. It is inspired by that. That is all I'm going to say. I'm not the best builder. I'm used to building, like, mid-century modern styles. I just like my own style, and I'm not really good at incorporating anything else. So, yeah. So, I want to apologize if there's any, like, weird movement or, like cutting just I'm very tired I keep yawning I need to pause every so often but yeah this is one of my favorite builds I've done in a while so yeah um I keep saying so yeah so sorry um I was saying about different styles though so I build like mid-century modern as well as just regular modern builds no I I like to furnish modern I, I'm really bad at actually building well in a modern style. I had a really hard time just getting the patio right. I kept building it wrong. So yeah. I wanted to keep in the roofing because the roofing was really hard. And I just thought it looked good. But I did cut out a lot. Altogether it was like four hours of content. And I made the really bad mistake of not having my mic muted so for the longest time I was there listening because I was editing this half asleep um for the longest time I was just listening to the audio and it was me watching Criminal Minds and I was like oh my god you bitch during certain parts and very vocal and it took me like I think 25 minutes to realize that I hadn't turned my mic off in certain parts of like the recording, I think the last two parts, like the last two hours, I had my mic off. But apart from that, I'll link to the audio, cut it out. I didn't have to listen to it anymore after that. Um, so my like style really, um, my style is kind of crazy. So I ended up just putting like older looking pieces into the house, and I think it worked. Um, but yeah. I think, like, the screenshots at the end are, like, four minutes of screenshots or something silly like that. Which, like, I wasn't happy with. But I wanted to make sure I got all the screenshots in. After I saw that it was so long, I was just going to say that I'm not putting screenshots in at all. But I decided it wasn't a good idea. So, yeah. I really like the way it turned out. Um, in my head, I was kind of like, this is 100% livable. Like, people live here. But, you know, maybe at the end of the year, they, like, remove all the, like, modern things in the house. And they have, like, a week where people can tour the house. Maybe it's, like, the oldest standing house in the town. I kind of like that idea. So, yeah, that's, like, one of my thought processes. Um, yeah. I really, really wanted to get that blue door in from Strangerville. I love Strangerville. It's, like, one of my favorite packs for doors and windows. Um, it's not worth the $20 if you're only buying it for doors and windows, but I really do like it. There's some bits in the house where are just, like, really big for no reason whatsoever. So, like, even in the kitchen, I have, like, a little part at the back where I just put some more modern things in. You know, just kind of break it up. Or I don't know. Um, but yeah. I am i don't think I changed roof tile. I really hope I did. I can't remember if I did or not. I'm really embarrassed now. <laughs> oh, I did. Okay, it's fine. I did. I was going to check the screenshots. So, the first clip you just saw was about a 45 minute clip that I put down, made it into a speed build. And then when we jumped back and the floor plan was done and all that was like two days later and this was like a 50 minute like bit so it was like I think four hours or something like that of just me building but I've been getting mediocre at editing I'm like faster at sorting it out and faster at 
you know, seeing what I want and what I don't. And I also now, um, when I'm <laughs> when I'm editing something where I'm talking, I'll go in first and I'll watch it and I'll take out any bits that I don't want, including the voice from that part. And then if I only want to listen to the voice, I will be editing a video. And then I can, like, pause the video. Um, I'll be editing, sorry, the picture <laughs> on my tablet, like, the caption or the thumbnail, sorry, on my tablet. And I can pause it and, you know, make the changes as I go because, like, my head is, like, working over time. It's really good. Um, so some things, like, that I would think would be removed from the house are, like, the computers. I have a television. I also didn't think about it until, like, a few minutes ago. But I also have older... Or sorry, not older, newer. So I have newer um, fridges. I have two newer fridges and a newer stove in the kitchen. And then I have like an off room that has another fridge. I don't know why I needed three fridges in one house, but I just felt like I did. Um, but I will, before I put this up on the gallery, I will edit the video. Uh, not the video, I will edit the house and I'll put some older looking ones in. Especially, as I said, seeing as like, I'm already doing that elsewhere. I want to apologise real quick for that OBS thing that popped up. Um, that won't happen anymore. Uh, but when I add a transition into my videos, it seems to just put the OBS back in there. And it's really annoying and I don't know why. So yeah, I apologise for that. Um, I set up my OBS. I thought I had a setup in the way that... I can look at other screens and I'll only record my Sims um, screen, but I didn't know that. <laughs> Basically, I had my display capture and the Sims game on at the same time, so it's going to record my Sims capture. My, my, it was going to capture everything, is what I'm trying to say. Um, so this is an office. I did put a computer in here. Well, I'm pretty sure I put a computer in here, um, but I did in my mind... So I did in my mind kind of think like when they're having this tour that they have every X amount of years, they like remove that computer, you know? And I imagine that a lot of the stuff in this house are from the original owners. Obviously some of it's more modernized, you know, they have real lights now. So yeah. So, um, I've been getting really into playing The Sims again. I think it's because I'm excited for... Um, um what's it called <laughs> the snowy escape one yeah snowy escape i'm really excited for that and i want to try and do a let's play try being the main word um but yeah i just i want to get all the videos that i have now well not all of them i have four videos edited ready to go <laughs> i want to get them out but they're kind of like videos that i don't care much for like, this video I really like, so this is going to be out before the other videos are. And that's all I'm saying. Um, so in the original house, the uh, Sharp Objects house, that bit of um, fencing that I had going all the way up, that's what they have in the show. It's also a real house. And basically, if you wanted to get to the rooms on the other side, when you go upstairs, I'll point it out again. When you want to get to the rooms on the other side, you'd have to walk all the way around. And I just didn't want that for my Sims house. The Sims are already awkward enough. I really think I need to start drinking coffee again because I'm so sick of being as tired as I am. I am yawning so much. So this is a really long video, by the way. This is a 30 minute long video. So I apologize for that. Um, just I didn't want to make it too fast. I could have put it in seven times or eight times speed, but I just didn't want to. I just thought it would be too much. Um, you know, too fast. You know. Um, also this, um, marble table thing that I have. Now looking back at it, it does not make sense. Like, that would not be in a house of this age. Um, quite a bit of stuff wouldn't. So as I said, a lot of things, if, I don't know, if it, this was like a museum, like for a week or two out of the year, a lot of stuff would be moved, in my opinion. So, the people in this house, I also have, like, a lot of, uh, a lot of musical instruments. So, I just wanted to, you know, have them be very talented. I just thought it'd be very cute if they were talented. Um, 
I also think that I've got, like, bits of everything. I think I've got, like, chess tables. I have, like, lots of skill building items. I don't know if I left the two stoves in here. I might have. I might have. Um, but it works out a little bit, you know? I, I do think this kitchen is, like, very cute. Um... I'm not a big fan of the dining room. I did put a bar in the dining room and I'm kind of regretting that and I think I should have just left the bar and have a big dining room. But a lot of people do have bars in their house. So that's where my thoughts for that came. Um, I don't even know what I was doing in here. I just wanted to look cute. Um, yeah. <laughs> I don't really have much to talk about. As I said, the video's like 30 minutes long. Minutes. I think it said minutes. I don't know how to talk anymore. Um, the back wall where I just put that painting does seem a little bare. And I was trying to think, like, when I was putting stuff on this wall here, when I was scrolling through here, I was thinking if there's anything else I could put there just to make it look better. And just for the life of me, I couldn't think of anything. Um, but this, as I said, is one of my, like, my favorite buildings that I've made in a long time in The Sims. I used to make these huge extravagant mansions and I kind of got bored doing that so I like benched out that's not the saying um yeah I, I got really bored of doing that so I wanted to try other stuff and since then I've just been building smaller homes and apartments you know they're my forte now um kind of regret you know switching over though because I did really, really, really enjoy building mansions. Um, I also put a toddler bed in here. So I do have... I did change one of those chairs out for a high chair. Just to let you guys know. We're almost done the downstairs of the house. And it doesn't seem like that's three hours of work. And um, the bathrooms, I decided to go for these horrible yellow tiles. Um... Which are horrible, like, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna say they're cute because it's my build, because I'm not a liar. I I really struggled with the bathrooms. I, like, um, I'm looking at them now. Oh, actually, you know what? I was looking at them earlier. And even when I done the upstairs bathroom um, that you'll see in a minute. And they do not make sense in this house. They're just too colourful. If I use something like the ones in the bath, in, in the kitchen, sorry, it'd look a lot better. I've probably done a bedroom downstairs too. I think there's five bedrooms in this house. Um, and I just kind of designed them anyway. You can change some of the colour schemes in it if that's what you choose. Um, I went for this gorgeous light blue colour scheme in the master bedroom. Um, now thinking of it after saying master bedroom, I feel like I should have made the master bedroom have an ensuite bathroom because there's one like right there that I could have easily done. But I didn't. I wasn't thinking. Um, this hallway as well um, is something I struggled with. Because I didn't know what to do. And I wanted to make it look really nice and extravagant. But I just felt like I wasn't doing it justice. I think I put a table in the middle of it. With stuff on the table. I don't know if you've seen it in this recording. I don't remember seeing it when I was editing. Oh no, it is here. I just wasn't paying attention in that case. You know, just a little table as you walk in. Um, oh yeah, this is like another recording. We started another recording at the stage. I record a lot. Um, so I'm also slow at building. I'm slower when I'm building doing a voiceover, or not voiceover, like a let's build. So the first, um, part of the let's build of the apartment complex that i done, that took me so long to record. And there was so much cutting out of that. That was an hour and a half. And I think I spent like two hours on the entirety three hours we'll say three hours on the entirety of the rest of the building so yeah just to put into comparison how slow I am when I'm talking uh so right beside the stairs um it's gone now right beside the stairs I uh, I was gonna bring that fencing all the way up to the back wall but I decided against that I just didn't think it looks that cute. I have never used this bed until today. And I think it just works in here. I really like that bed. Um, I also like matched the chairs 
you'll see in a second, the chairs are matching to the bed. And I think I've got quite a few blue items in the house. Yeah, there's the uh, chess table. Uh, I don't know why I chose the chess table for the master bedroom, but I just needed some space to fill and it worked really well. Uh, I do have like amps and musical instruments in some rooms. I do have like laptops in some rooms because I think in all rooms actually, except for the toddler room, there's a laptop. So yeah, it's just what I was thinking, make more sense. They look like different colors in this lighting and it really throws me off. Um, so yeah, I had to cough. I was holding it in for so long. Um, I'm surprised I didn't have to yawn again. I said the word yawn and now I need to yawn. It's fine. It's fine. I'll be okay. I won't be okay. I really... <laughs> I hope this is entertaining. It's not for me. I'm just like so confused. Um, I decided to put these dividers in just, you know, to break up the room a little bit more. Um, so there's a bathroom right beside the master. I think I'm going to do that next. Thinking back now, I should have made the master bathroom enter, but I didn't. Yeah, see, it should have been on that back wall, but I didn't do that. It would have made a lot more sense for the layout, actually, to be honest. Yeah, I really wanted to use these um, counters downstairs in the other bathroom. I think when I'm putting up at the gallery, I will still do that. So yeah, it's Friday, I think. So I think I'm uploading this today anyway. Um, but yeah, I, I've been working on this build for like four or five days. Um, the editing doesn't take me too long. I've got a mediocre at that. So it's okay. If I, like, I'd love to add some cool edits and, like, my own stickers, but I don't have any. I don't know how to design them. But when I figure it out, it's over for all of you guys. <laughs> for the longest time, I was figuring out how to get this to work. I think I just ended up moving, um, taking out that entire, like, slot. I didn't think we needed it. It made no sense. It wasn't adding to the space that we had. Yeah, I did get rid of it. And it worked. See? No clipping. Uh, the roof kept coming in, by the way. That's why that was like that. Um, oh, I was starting to make this a... Uh, what's it called? An office. And then I decided against it. So, because this is, like, the toddler's room, when they're doing the t uh, tour, in my head, like, if this is my house, I would not let anybody tour my toddler's room, even if I had set it up. You know, this would be one of the only doors that were locked. You know, fuck the privacy. It's G. Um, but yeah, I, I do think this came out really nicely. And I'm really happy with it. Uh, I'm not using like any nice or crazy rugs. Everything's pretty basic. Um, which is understandable. Um, yeah. You'll see me go downstairs now in a second. And put a high chair in the uh, dining room. I, I really do like this house though. Yeah, see, and they have an exact swatch. Look at that. Exact. exact. Um, I'm going to go for another cut here in a second, so you're not going to see me go straight back into this bedroom. Once again, it's... I go out for a day. Okay, I was just helping my mom. But yeah, I do... You'll see now in a second. I do go back in, like, straight into that room. Usually when I record and I go for a day... Or like a few hours, I would pick up somewhere else. I usually don't go straight into the same recording. No, I do. I do go into the same recording. I technically, or usually, I don't go back into the same room that I was doing prior to stop recording. <laughs> prior to when I stopped recording. Um, so I really need to get in that red shelf again, the OSMP shelf. Because when doing this, I was like, I totally forgot to do it again so it's like it's one of my bad habits i need to like get that in my head <laughs> um but i did add an amp into this room and i kind of thought like, maybe this is a teenager's bedroom a teenage girl and you know she's in a band and you know her friends come over and they jam out a little bit because so like in my head i kind of had this 
mom and dad who very much wanted to keep the house as it was so they didn't want to add too many you know modern touches into it and when they heard their daughter wanted to put like amps and all in they were kind of like skeptical they're like well it's gonna like not look as old but like obviously they had to get new uh piping and not piping they had to get new plumbing in I knew that was the wrong term or phrase the second I said it. So they had to get new uh, piping. Not piping. Plumbing. They needed to get new plumbing. I'll say it again. Um, this bathroom also, it's so big. When you have like really big bathrooms, well, when I have really big bathrooms, I find it really hard to know how to set them up. Like, there's a lot of floor space and not, you know, and I just, I didn't know what to do. I don't think I put anything on the floor um because as i said it's a huge bathroom but i didn't want to make these into two really small rooms and have a really small bedroom and then a really small bathroom i thought you know what it would be better just to have a bigger bathroom just like in my opinion like that's what i thought would have made more sense for this house um so i started doing this room as like a single bed and i think i was gonna put two single beds in here but i decided against it i decided to go for a double bed but maybe this could be for a child um yeah that's kind of my take on that i really once again it was like trying to find what to do because i was trying not to modernize it a lot you know but then again like you need that kind of stuff for your sims to have fun but i really love to try a do yeah i'd like to do kind of like a realistic old house where i don't have any new stuff so i'd use the black um stoves that you can use off the grid it basically just make an entire off the grid house but you know without any modern touches because you can easily make an off the grid house in the sims now um without any modern touches you know so they'd be completely off the grid um so they wouldn't be able to like have solar panels or have uh, water collection stuff you know uh, and that's kind of like that seems like a really good idea for me um not for me it just seems like a good idea um i'd really love to do like a let's play of that um so yeah sony escape is out in five days um yeah so if you guys get a vpn if you've already bought it if you get a vpn you can change your like country to australia and get to pack 24 hours before you get like before it comes out in your country unless you're from australia um so you can get the pack a whole day before it comes out in your country if you do it that way and i didn't know you could do that until the last pack we got until eco lifestyle um i didn't know that beforehand so yeah i was trying to add a back door here rather than going out the front door and walking around but it just the roof was not having it the roof was so difficult in this house um but i could have done the roof like that i just wasn't feeling it um i kept having trouble um with the middle layer i did fix it though um it was actually a problem with the upstairs um i think i showed it in this video i might have cut it out though basically the roof wasn't fully on it and that was a problem why the rest of the house on the outside was being colored the same color as i put the hallway it, it doesn't it doesn't make any sense at all but yeah that's what kept happening and it's really annoying um i also have them bookshelves too close to the wall i don't know what just happened in my face there i have the um bookshelves too close to the wall and i did fix them when i was taking the screenshot so it's not like that anymore I didn't see like when I was building it. I think I went over the top with the <laughs> landscaping. Like I 100% did. I just I really wanted this landscape really nicely, and I kind of wanted the back garden to look like it wasn't part of the house. <laughs> no, no, it, I wanted it to look like it was part of the house, but I didn't want it to. I didn't want anyone walking past. My voice is going crazy. I'm sorry. I didn't want anyone walking past be able to see into the house. So I did kind of go crazy and have these overgrown bits of. Um, I forgot what this is called, foliage? I'm just going to say foliage. Um, this overgrown bit of garden. Um, I think there was three different parts that were overgrown. I also put a pool in, which, like, isn't very Tudor-esque, but I don't know. 
I think like, I could do it in a way that like maybe um, all the furniture, well not all of it, but most of the furniture, the bits that are from the original house were in the attic and then somebody moved into the house before these people and they put in a pool, um, you know, they kind of didn't keep it as it originally was and that could be a thing that I'm doing, but I don't know. I, I still think this house is really nice. I just really got confused. I didn't know what to do. I'm not really good at building houses that aren't my style. And I really just wanted to try and do something else with this one. So yeah. My style isn't exactly modern, but it's like close enough. Like, yeah. It's like, uh, I like mid-century modern, kind of modern. I can do like suburban houses too. Um, but yeah, doing anything like from a time period is really hard for me. Uh, I was about to say we're about to go into screenshots, but I think there's like two minutes left. I have my um, Adobe Premiere Pro like all the way out so I can see where my voice is going because I've done it before where I talk over how far I can actually talk. I really wish now I didn't put that fire there. It just, it doesn't make sense to me. I have a swing set for the children. You know, he has to be good parents. But yeah, I, I really do like this house. I was looking for a good table. I ended up going with that one. I was going to go with an like, all-glass one from Get Together, but I didn't. Um, So yeah. It's so this back garden. I was just like, basically, I said, fuck it. I done whatever, because I really didn't know what to do Um, with the back garden. It just it wasn't working for me. And here are the screenshots. I am really happy with this house. Um, but yeah, I do want to do some more houses from TV shows that I love. And there's a lot. So yeah. One that I'd love to do is... Um, I'd love to recreate the subway shop from Wizards. I'd love to recreate their apartment and you know everything. Um, but we don't really have a set floor plan for that. But it could look good. I'm also really bad at taking screenshots because I don't really know what should be the focus. I'm great at photography, but taking screenshots is just, for whatever reason, a bad point. <laughs> um, so I think I'm going to leave you guys here to let you guys watch the rest of the screenshots. I hope you guys have a fantastic day, uh, wherever you are in the world. Not only day, day, morning, night, you know, whatever time it is. Um, bye guys. Thank you so much for watching.